Today, we're gonna to be trying some new Spigen accessories. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm JQ Louise, and today we'll be installing these new Spigen accessories. But before we get started, be sure to like this video and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, we do lots of fun things. We picked up our car in March, we show our delivery, we install accessories, and we do lots of fun road trips. So definitely check out our links below. But for now, let's check out these new accessories. So you guys know that we love our Spigen matte screen protector. It was literally the first thing we installed on the car when we delivered our Model Y back in March. We love it, big fans of it. We'll definitely share you know, some clips of the install video later on in this video if you haven't seen that. But we also bought a new Spigen phone mount and Spigen saw that we were big fans of the brand so they sent us a few items to give a try today. So we'll definitely give you our opinion on the phone mount that we bought as well as the things that Spigen sent to us. So let's check out what we have. Okay, so before we unbox these new products, we're gonna show you our existing Spigen products that we're loving. First up is the Spigen Matte Screen Protector. You can see it on here right now. It has a really nice matte finish. It was super easy to install, and we'll show you how we installed it. We literally did it on delivery day while we were charging the car. So it's really easy. It takes five minutes to get on there and it's so helpful. It really cuts down on the glare. It protects from fingerprints and it just really protects the screen. So highly recommend it. Uh, the link to this is below, but I will also show you how you can even keep your screen clean with the screen protector on. So you need to put it into screen cleaning mode. So you go here and then you go to the display and then literally just screen clean mode. Okay, so the speak and screen protector comes with a little cloth. So you can just use this to gently uh, wipe any dust or any little fingerprints or smudges that may be on there. But as you can see, when it's in screen cleaning mode, nothing happens, the screen is effectively off and you can clean it safely without you know, activating anything on the screen. All right, so once you're done cleaning it, all you do is hold to exit and it counts you down in case you touch that by accident, but you just hold it down for three seconds and the screen comes right back on. Okay, so this is the Spigen One Tap phone mount and this one is for the dashboard. So it just clips right in. We'll show you how to put it in, but it's super easy. All right, so this Spigen mount attaches right here on the left corner of the vent. So all you have to do is line it up and basically snap it in. And it's great because you can put your phone vertical or horizontal, however you like to look at it. For us, we like to have this here so we can use Waze as well as the Tesla Maps. So it's really easy to install, um, but one thing to note is it only works with MagSafe iPhones. So that means either 12s, 12 Pros, 13, 13 Pros. So this is the 13 Pro in the regular size, not Max. So it fits very nicely here. I love how it looks in the car. It's very seamless. You know, you really don't even notice that it's an accessory, which is really nice. It looks so natural in the car. And they actually do make another version that attaches to the screen. So this is very helpful if you'd rather have your phone over here so that you're only looking towards the screen. Um, so we'll give this one a try, but this is what the Spigen One Tap looks like on the dashboard. All right, so let's unbox the Spigen One Tap MagSafe car mount. This goes on the Tesla screen. It's specifically made for Model Ys and Model 3s. All right, so this is what's in the box of the Spigen One Tap for the screen. So pretty simple, very similar to the dashboard version. So we'll check it out and let's see how it looks on the car. So here are the instructions to install it. So very easy and very similar to 
the dashboard mount. But basically, first we have to screw the part that the phone actually uh, sticks to, to the mount. So we're gonna show you how to do that first. Um, but if you look at this, it's pretty interesting, and we didn't do this last time. Um, you can actually add these magnetic stickies so that you can have a cable, um, you know, nice and neatly tucked in there. So we might actually put that on this time, especially because we have this new cord that we can use for this charger. So this is actually where you can connect the cable so that it just sticks right on there. So it's there whenever you need it for your phone. All right, so we need to install this to the actual mount. So it's very simple. You just need to put this on first. You put this upside down. Then you put this on here and snap it in. So see it snapped in, but now we have to tighten it down with this. So I'm not gonna put it too tight. That way we can adjust this once it's up there, but that just holds it on. All right, so one of the great things about this product is that there are a few different positions and locations where you can install it. So the first one, is up here which you know puts it in great view for the driver but the other great thing is it can even go on this side either horizontal or vertical up here for the passenger so you know if your passenger wants to be able to look at their phone or they want to look at ways or whatever it is um you know this is a really interesting place to use it because for us we love using this mount over here already for the driver to look at ways so i think we're actually going to install this over here so that it's a phone mount for the passenger all right so we're going to peel off this tab and then you just line it up here so we're going to line it up and that's it all right so now that the mount is up there we're going to show you how to add on these little magnetic stickies so that we can use this nice cable and it'll be tucked neatly away. All right, so first let's unbox this USB-C to lightning cable. So this is a really high quality cable, really nice. It's three feet long, so, you know, not too long. Um, and, you know, if you've tried speaking products before, you know that they are high quality. I love how it's in white. I think it goes with our car. So let's try installing it with these nice little stickies into this mount. So they give you two of these, but you only need to use one, but it is nice that you do have a backup. So we're just going to peel the sticky part off of this and attach it right here to the cable. So we have the magnet on this end. So all you have to do is just attach it up here. And now that'll keep it there for when you need it to plug into your phone. So we have our cord plugged into our phone now. So we'll just show you, if you haven't seen this before, where you can plug in an actual cord. So you go into the center console and then it's right down here. And there are two charging locations in the center console. So you can charge your phone right here and you still have an extra one. Last but not least, we have one more Spigen charging accessory to take a look at. So this is the Spigen Power Arc arc station car charger. So this plugs into your traditional, you know, cigarette lighter car charger. So if you need, you know, if you're charging a lot of devices and you need one more, this is a great option. So let's see what it looks like. All right, so this is the Spigen Power Arc adapter. It has two different plugs. One is a 45 watt and one is a 20 watt. These are USB-C. So great option if you have a lot of devices that you need to charge. I think this could be super helpful, especially on road trips when you probably will have more devices with you. So let's see where we actually can plug this in. So in Tesla's, in this Model Y, we have a uh, plug right here inside the upper center console. So all you do is just plug this in and there you go. You have two more outlets where you can plug in some devices. So we can plug this in and now you can see that um, our phone is up here on its new mount and it's charging with this new charger. So we've been driving around with both mounts for a while and honestly, either one would be a great choice if you have the new iPhones. Having the MagSafe mount is so easy because you can just place it there, take it off, you know, no cords, all of that. It's so easy and I love the one on the screen where you can put it on the passenger side. I think it's a great addition if you already have the other mount on the dash for the driver. So definitely check these out. All the links are below. 
All right, so that's it for today's video. I hope that was helpful. We're big fans of Spigen. Honestly, these are all some great products. So check out the links to everything below, but also be sure to like this video and subscribe if you're interested in Tesla content. We do lots of fun stuff. So I'll see you guys next time.